Hello and welcome to a brand new series of Fully Charged. So this new series is supported by Ecotricity, which is really exciting. Ecotricity are an energy company that spend all the profits that they get on building new uh, renewable infrastructure, uh, mainly wind turbines, uh, but also solar stuff and all sorts of other exciting technology that we're going to be looking at later in the series. Um, I've got some amazing cars that, uh, that I've had a, had a drive of. Uh, some, of the, some of them you'll have heard of, some of them you might not have. Uh, and I just wanted to quickly uh, update you on on my progress as a, an electric car driver. Now, over the two years that I've uh, been driving this car, this is my Nissan Leaf, uh, I've travelled just short of 36,000 miles, and the total electricity cost that it's cost me is around about £700 for that, uh, for 36,000 miles. Um, it's a really difficult thing to work out because there's so many variables. For a start, uh, I usually generally charge this car at night on off-peak electricity. Uh, th there are days in the summer in particular where I charge it during the day. And that is because there is a direct feed from my solar panels through the uh, inverter, through some meters and into the car. And uh, the estimates for how far I've driven in those two years on purely solar energy are between eight and eight and a half thousand miles over two years. Now, that is eight and a half thousand miles of driving a car without burning anything which is really extraordinary uh, leap in technology and I think that's uh, you know very much what fully charged is all about um, and also it is so much cheaper to drive the servicing costs uh, for that 36,000 miles have so far totaled 150 pounds in fact one of the biggest expenses is screen wash Whenever I buy some screen wash, I think, God, this is really expensive stuff. But the first car I want to introduce on this new series of Fully Charged is the unbelievably aerodynamic Volkswagen XL1. It's an extraordinary car. It's a plug-in, range-extended electric vehicle with a two-cylinder diesel engine. Have a look. So the vehicle behind me is the VW XL1, and it is going to, it's a production vehicle. They're going to make 200 of them. Uh, I'm not going to pretend that they're cheap, because they're not. They're going to come out at about £90,000 each. But they really are an experimental vehicle, because they're testing out the drivetrain, the, the hybrid system, and it is really a unique car. Now, one of the things that a lot of people have already said is it looks, it looks weird. Well, it does look a bit weird, but let me tell you, the, the, the streamlining on this car, the way that it slides through the air, is quite extraordinary. When we drive normal cars, we're just not aware of how much air we're pushing out of the way. You go in this car, and it just keeps moving. You barely touch the throttle, and it'll keep going. Unless you're actually going up a hill, it just slides through the air. The, air, the wind resistance is remarkably low. Even down to the fact that it hasn't got wing mirrors. Those little things out the side are cameras that give you a, a wing mirror view. Wing cameras. So what you actually look down in the door, there's two little screens which show you your rear view. It, it, it is, they've done everything they can to make it as light as possible. This is a diesel hybrid with a 830cc two-cylinder diesel engine that occasionally fires up uh, to give you some extra warmth. Amazing piece of technology. Real, proper, groundbreaking stuff. Right. The VW XL1. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Pretty much like foot on brake. Foot on brake. Press, Press the start button. Oh, that's nice. So we're now ready. Battery charge level 97%. Yep. Hand brake. There's that parking brake. That's off. Parking brake's off. Got nice firm feeling on the controls like that. Because I was a long time Volkswagen driver. Yeah. Really long time. Just about every version of the Golf that was ever made I've had at one time or another. So. But this is quite different. Yeah. <laughs> this is not like an R32. No, no it's this not. Is the, my last <laughs> the thing that I'm really intrigued is, and I've been asked this many times, uh, is why aren't there diesel hybrids? You know, because all the hybrids up to now have been yeah, petrol engines. Yeah. But this one, I think it's fascinating. This is how how big is the engine? 830 odd cc. Yeah. So two cylinder. Two cylinder diesel, diesel common rail. And now so, well, I don't know what a common rail. I should uh, know about before. High fuel pressure, exceedingly right. high fuel, fuel pressure, right. um, but it only uses like one rail of fuel. 
pretty much like a, a petrol, and then the injectors do the firing. Right, I floored it. So yeah, there the, goes the diesel. There goes the diesel. Yeah. So we go down Just this one. Yeah, we'll go down this one and then. Um, God, I looked over there for a wing mirror, yeah. but I've got yeah. perfect vision from my wing camera. So the wing cam, noise, the noise it makes is really intriguing. So now we're we're on electric and we're doing, we're doing 43 miles an hour. Miles now. Um, um, I've we, got a, oh, I've got room. I can tell yeah. now with my wing cam to pull out onto the onto the freeway. So 52, 53. We're still electric. We're still electric. So it generally kicks in around 60. Unless oh, you no, 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 no. Alright. We're, we're in full EV mode, so we've got oh, we got e right. EV mode, so we'll try and stay in EV for as right. long as it possibly can. So at the moment I'm not feeling any regen slowing down. I mean, no, this slow, is this so. is sort of a sailing mode, so right. it will um, just close down. Basically coast. coast right. Right. So on the road like you this with a slight like decline. The, you know, keep it, yeah, keeping just at keep this speed is very easy, but I'm not having yeah. to push it at all. Um, so yeah, so, and of course once you're off the throttle there's no power being used. You, and you, I'm you, assuming that the shape and size of the vehicle means it very yeah, uh, aerodynamic. Yeah, so and, it does feel like it's just slight, it's not pushing air. Basically. And obviously you've got uh, very narrow tyres front and rear. Right. So you've got 115s on the front, right. uh, 115 tyres, yeah, so they're really narrow, almost push bike. Sort right. of. But I mean, the, the feeling that you get now is that it, although it's we're running as an electric car, you know, and I'm an I'm a experienced electric car driver. I'm not thinking about anything about, oh, let me look at where the battery is. It, it is intriguing, because I know that we, if we wanted to, we could just we could get in this and just drive up to Scotland, yeah. which is always the one. What if I want to drive to Scotland? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or get the train, or get another car. Yeah. It is a head turn. I didn't think of it, because I just think people yeah. don't, I've driven so many weird cars. Yeah, but that guy was staring. Oh, the keenly. amount of people we have to, yeah. camera phones and everything, it, it's just. So now we've got. Because we're in S mode, it's not going to stay in full EV mode. Right. You know, Actually, it, now it, I've got my foot right off and yeah. it's just going. I'm not doing anything <laughs> at all. I mean, it's slowed down by three miles an hour in all the time. That's amazing. <laughs> it does feel like it's got cruise control on it. I mean, I've got cruise yeah. control. Is there cruise control there is on There is cruise control on it. Cruise control is that? Yes. Right. Maybe I've got it. I don't think yes, I have it's it on. Your, yeah, no, you haven't got it on. No. <laughs> it just keeps <laughs> going. <keep going. laughs> Officer, it wasn't me. The car was no, right. right. <laughs> That is quite extraordinary. It really is. And look, it's doing nothing. It's not doing nothing. Now it's that using shows nothing. the air, their air, aerodynamics, and that is incredible. Any other car I've ever been in, I guess, other than something like a Ferrari, which you'd be yeah. so deaf you wouldn't notice. I mean, I'll see what happens. I'm not, I, haven't put, I haven't touched the throttle, and in all that time, about a mile and a half, we've slowed down. Now it's slowed down up the hill, but that is incredible. Wow. Very nice. And uh, the stop button. Stop button. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. 